you run from 149 to 174, then 175 to 199, then 200 to 249, then 250 to 299, and then 300 and above is unlimited. So basically, we are running in the A license. If you can run faster than 249, we'll get double A licenses. Think you can do it? Sure. Faster than 249 on salt? We'll try. All right, cool. Garbage. Okay, get the fuck out of here. And there he goes. And here we go. We're going to chase him down the quarter mile. Uh, unfortunately, this truck won't go anywhere near that fast, but hey, I'll do the best I can to get this on film and drive at the same time and not kill everybody. And then Dan has, has graciously given me the... He's got the wheel, and I got Dennis. Or to the best of my ability. He'll run down there, and those little orange markers, if you can see them, are the first mile. He'll run through those and go down to where the next set of orange markers are, which are mile two, and that's where the timing starts. They'll time you through the first quarter of the second mile and then the second mile as a whole, and that average speed will be the speed that will be used for licensing up in category. There's a motorhead after. Motorhead, motorhead, motorhead. All right, was you was you amazed by the speed that you were able to carry yeah, through one, the trap? I was at 145, 146 the whole fucking way. There you go, buddy. There's a happy man. Yeah, that's enough. I can't re <laughs> <laughs> How could I resist? There you go. So you're going to run what tomorrow, Dennis? What's your goal? Uh, no fairing, probably about 210, 215. What about this bike with the fairing? That he's going to probably run tomorrow. I might run it later. If I run it later, I should be able to get in at least in the teens. Because that was 208 and that wasn't even a very good pass. First right. pass. Cool. If we could get that on my bike. Hmm. I feel a winter project coming on. Very cool. Talk about needing a pair of balls. There you go. Takes a set to run here, they say.
that is what you call a hood. Motorhead racing, baby. What is this? Is the motorhead now be getting into Fierro's? That is one hell of a Fierro. What is this? Ah, competition. Fuel bowl was like sitting right there. The opening's not much bigger. Huh? Sometimes there are. Oh wow!
193. Do me a favor. How fast did you go? 193. Uh, two days ago. And what's got in it? I know. No, this. Oh God. This has more than you can think. First, wait, wait. As a matter of fact, first, we're trying to do 200 today, and this, all right? And uh, we have another one for that. Hayabusa. What do you think the Hayabusa is going to get? Uh, well, we have been running 185. We're planning to do at least 200 Hayabusa today. 200? You think yeah. it's the salt that slows it down? Not only the salt, the performance is what's very important of the bike and the preparation of the bike what? and the performance of the rider. We well, got it. You know, I'm not riding this. My is it yours? Is it Mark? Oh, Mark, tell me exactly what he has. What do you think? It's fine. What you got in the Busa? Production stock. Stop. I'm Mark and this is Mark. Okay. He's got a 12 bar, I have a booster. Yeah? Who's got a 12? He's, He's got, got a 12. Bro. I can't shake your hand. But I have two boosters. <laughs> <laughs> but I have two boosters, too. Yeah. I sold it just so my friend can race with me. So, which of these two bikes do you think is going to go faster? That's the question. This goes way faster. No, wait. This goes way faster. And, but this one's not stock, though. No. Yeah. The 12R is not stock. No. No. That's why it goes faster, then. No, because the 12R is faster. High boosters are slow. That's how like everyone buys them. Yeah. Because they're weak and they can't make anything else go fast. This is Louie. <laughs> Please represent the Busa. By the way, we're filming this for a Hayabusa board. So uh, your face this is now is recorded. As soon as I put right the pipe on. As soon as I put the pipe on. Give me a favor. Go kick, his, go kick his ass. But I've been telling Hayabusa. 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 Hayabusa.
Heads up, guys. Got a van. And what would that do for your times out there? I don't there? know. It would be interesting. <laughs> <laughs> it wouldn't, the guy behind us wouldn't be very happy. It'd smell like a campfire pissed on. <laughs> Man, what the fuck is that smell? <laughs> you piss out a fire? Where's it going to hold it all? Nothing worse than a pissed out campfire. <laughs> And who to watch? Dennis and the truck going at the same time. That's no good.
Yeah, I actually was only supposed to go up to 200. Right. And then the other one's for... 200, no. 250 is the next one? Yeah, one's up to like 199 and then... Yeah, so this one, talking about? So this next one, you can twist it for all she's worth. Where's Nick at, Dennis? Yeah, down there, wonder where the fuck you guys are at. You took a video of it. Yeah, my shit on video. Cool. This is a rooster tail. Three feet tall coming off the back of it. At least. No, it's just a B license. No, you fucking asshole. Throwing wall, that's part of the deal out here. It's throwing weight on a bike and it makes it hook because it digs, you know. And plus, it doesn't get blown by the wind. So, you're going to add some weight to it before the next run? Yeah, it might. Yeah, probably. Well, just don't take the shot out so it looks like you get a bike some more. Well, you ought to add some weight to it. See if you can get some traction out of it. Did you bring any lead? Yeah, I brought 150 pounds. I can, I can make the seat weigh 100. I already did it. I made a 100 pound seat for Hank yesterday. But he said it helped you, you a lot. Put some under the hump. Huh? You can put some under the hump. Yeah, that's a little weird weight, though. Because when you put it up there, if it starts going like this, then you get it's a, high. a 50 pound. No, Dark it's backwards sweet. So you got 50 pounds of swinging. How about putting it on the swinger motor yeah, on the front of the swinger? Yeah, yeah, that's where you really need it. I'm just going to make the seat on it because then it's right under your ass, right in the central pivot point of the bike, you know. So you got two planes, the axis plane and then the central plane on the bike. So if you say keep it in the center and keep it on the center plane of the axle plane, you're fine. We won't feel it. What time is it? Uh, 3.30 or 2.30. Yeah, see you down there, buddy. Right. 2.30 our time.